I didn't see you there. Wow, it's been a while. Yeah, lots happened since uh, you know the last episode. Uh, I was unemployed, been poor, you know. So I had to put this on hiatus, and this isn't a guaranteed return. This is kind of a special edition of Views on Brews, and you'll see why in a second. Hold up. Here we have Rogue's Voodoo Donut Maple Bacon Ale. Now, my friend Jay told me about this, and I just knew I had to dust off the old camera and bring this show back, even if it was just for one more go. So here we are, this week on Views on Brews. <laughs> Now, you probably can't see it as well, because the lighting is terrible today, but I had to get this done. It has a nice amber color. It's got an orange tint almost. The head is, uh, I did a pretty good pour. And, yep, you can definitely smell maple. There's definitely the ale smell in there. But it kind of mixes nice. It's like the beer and the maple bacon flavor. They work well for scent. Let's go for the taste. Okay, at first, it's weird. Because you have the beer taste, and then there's the bacon. It's... It's very strong with the maple, so this is more, it's kind of more of a maple beer than a bacon beer, but I've only had one sip. Maybe the next one will do better. Hmm. This is definitely, <clears throat> this is definitely an interesting ale. The bacon flavor is subtle but it is there and it is a it's a pretty nice beer it's full it's full of flavor it isn't watered down like some other beers <sighs> sad this might be the last episode and you know I really wish I was going out with a bang something crazy but my show started as just me filming on a camera and it's gonna end that way possibly unless something happens but well rogue voodoo donut maple bacon ale you may be my last beer and you know what that's a pretty good thing because this week you are a true brew cheers Rogue Voodoo Donut Maple Bacon Ale. <sighs> I don't remember my catchphrase. Wow, this is embarrassing. You have to edit all this out.